it. That's why I want to call it something else. What can we call it? What do you want to call the soft skills? Well, I guess hard skills we already call technical. I saw a few of you said. People skills, yep. People skills, interpersonal skills. Yep, communication skills is one aspect of it or one one column in this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Aprova. Yeah. So people call it human skills. Human. They also call it interpersonal. Yes, you're right. It's also called transferable. That's why in the beginning I said, what do you mean when you say non-transferable? Because people call soft skills also transferable skills. Okay? And some call life skills and some call people skills. Yeah? So I guess they couldn't decide. When you look at different references, depending on probably the domain, like social sciences, uh, engineering, they call it kind of different things. But I agree with all of them, right? People skills, life skills, transferable skills. But the funny thing is hard skills are developed at the expense of soft skills. Have you Have you seen this sentence before? Hard skills are developed at the expense of soft skills. And what does this mean? Let me give you an example. Uh, hard skills are developed at the expense of soft skills. So when you, let me put it this way. Uh, so if I am not, able to identify any of your soft skills looking at your transcript, which defines your GPA, right? So would you like to attend a summer session with Dr. K, which you don't even know who I am, Dr. K, to, to improve your soft skills? Or you want to go spend your uh, 11 weeks two hours every week to learn Python, right? Which one would you do, right? Majority of us, 99% prefer Python or project management, learning project management or learning some other technical skill or improving their existing technical skills. And years pass and then now you become a lead engineer, right? or you become kind of a presenter in the company, some kind of position. And then now you need more soft skills than hard skills. There you go. You don't have them because you always try to learn the technical skills. You always improved and sharpened your technical skills. Now you need soft skills. You don't have it or you have a little bit, right? So that's what it says. That's what it says. So I recommend you, you guys are young and talented, and I can understand this because you, you took the extra step to join here in the summers, in the summer. So you are really good at that. I, you're really inspiring me on that. But hard skills, just being a better Python programmer is not really going to help you guys. Let's say when you, you are the best coder, right? And when they put you in a team, you always argue with people. You never deliver on time. Your emails are confusing. Your presentation, nobody understands anything. What's going to happen? So being the best programmer is not going to help you. Okay? That's where it comes uh, tricky. It becomes tricky. Because then people will start, well, he's good, she's good, but we can't really work with her. I mean, she's always arguing with us. She's always, you know, using some uh, some arguments to not to finish the job. They don't come with us for lunch. We don't we don't see him as a, as a team member or her, right? And then over years, there will be more problems. 
right? Uh, because people will start, oh, is she toxic? Is he toxic? What should we do? And then, and then managers will hear about it. The leader will hear about it. Sometimes they will not be able to do anything because he is the best, maybe, right? Uh, but sometimes they will. Okay. That's why they say hard skills will make you get the job and soft skills will make you keep the job. Okay. That's why I, I say uh, soft skills are hard truth, which we don't really realize until we hit our heads. Okay. Any questions so far? <clears throat> 